Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. If you are just joining me, so if you're just joining me for the first time, um, what we usually do, we kind of alternate the Thursdays. Um, we do like a, a thoughtful Thursday, we do a challenge, um, and then we do a Thrifty Thursday. Basically, Thrifty Thursdays is what we use our scraps. We just basically just use our scraps for this day, okay? So today I am making some more teacher stuff and I'm gonna show you everything I used. I used my favorite, this is the postage stitched, um, stitch die, okay? And then I used the same one I, I used yesterday, My Teacher Rocks. And the sentiments I'm using today are number one, um, and then teacher, okay? And then I'm using the coffee background stamp, which I'm going to use. I have two on here. I'm going to use the one at the top there. And then I'm using coffee break. Um, I'm going to use, be using the die as well as the little sentiment that says caution very hot. And then I'm using my other, these are all my favorite. I, can I just say that these, all these sets that I'm showing you, I sell out of them all the time. So whenever you want them, if you see them in stock, I take advantage of it because these are still probably my best sellers out of everything and it's my favorite. And for those of you who know me, you know my love, my heart for my coffee. I love my coffee. So this is one of my favorite sets, this whole little set that I'm using today. Okay, and then the next one I'm using is You Are Perfect. And I'm using this right here, the coffee cup as well as this right here. And this way I could explain, I know I said it when I very first released the stamp set what this is for. Um, this is used for like a sleeve. So you're gonna go ahead and stamp your cup and then you're gonna use this to stamp right here. That's almost used as a sleeve for it. So I'll, I'll show you, you know, when we're um, cutting out that little cup. So I'm using those two from here. And then from my more gift card sentiments, the gift card sentiments I had used to um, Coordinating, coordinate with my embossed gift holder die. Anyways, I didn't want to use the gift card holder die for today only because I'm going to be using it for tomorrow for all the teachers because tomorrow's the final day, which is Friday, for a teacher appreciation week, and I'll be doing something for um, both. All I think there's a total of nine teachers between. Anthony, he has three, and then baby Aaron has six teachers. So I'm going to save that gift card holder die for tomorrow since I have to do so many. Um, so anyways, uh, again, I'm using the gift card, more gift card sentiments. And the one I'm using today um, is the um, enjoy a cup of coffee on me. Alrighty. So let me scooch this all over here. Now what I'm using, of course, this is from my scraps a whole but I don't know what I made in the past but apparently uh, my scrap drawer had a whole bunch of this size okay and it's an odd size let's see it's about a little less than three and a half by um probably nine and a quarter I don't know the exacts but that's the approximation right there so anyways what we are going to do first we're going to do we're just going to go ahead and Let's see, what should we do first? Let's do the stamping first on the top here. So let me go ahead and open this up like so. And we are going to use that one background stamp. And the color I am using for this today is the Hero Art Shadow Ink. This is called the Soft Brown. I really like this because it's it's close to the actual craft colored cardstock, which by the way, I cannot believe I'm thanking God right now that I have scraps because I don't have any more of this craft cardstock. I'm going to have to be doing a paper tray ink run pretty soon. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, so this is that little stamp press I was telling you about. This is going to be hard to do it right behind the camera, but I'm going to try my best to line it up. The cool thing about this is you could like wiggle it around. It might not even be super centered, but that's okay. And because the little cushions give you that ability to kind of wiggle it around to make it as close as possible um, to where you want it. That's why I love this one. So I just want to make sure I get all of the parts down evenly 
beautiful and that's so pretty okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to flip it over again because I need to go ahead and do the bottom portion I'm not going to stamp the whole stamp again because I am only going to use the top of it all right let me scooch that up and I'm going to go ahead and just carefully line this up at the bottom okay All right, there we go, beautiful. Okay, so now before I do anything else, what I'm using here is this burlap here from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique, and that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to use this to slip the gift card in too. So let me go ahead and just trim this at the bottom here. Now, I could sew it on or I could just staple it, okay? But to kind of save time because, well, should I sew it or, let's see. I did do one, the example, I did do one sewing with sewing and I did one without. I don't know, you know, I'm just gonna do it with the stapler today. Um, but before I get, well, actually, you know what, I'll put this on now. So I'm just gonna use my Tim Holtz staple right here, the tiny attacher. And you don't necessarily have to have that, by the way. You can use whatever stapler you have. It's fine. So this is the quick way to do it. If you have a sewing machine, by all means, knock yourself out. <laughs> because it does look nice with the sewing machine. But if you don't have one, it's quite all right. So I'm just stapling all around here. I'm just doing like three on each side just to make sure. I don't even have to do that many, to be honest with you. I'm going to do one here. I mean, because you're going to see the staples in the back, but it's all right. I'm pretty positive the teachers will not mind. Okay, so now that I got that piece on there, um, before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the inside. Um, enjoy a cup of coffee on me. But what I did was I just slanted it here on my actual block. Um, let me grab the ink. And then again, I'm just using my archival jet black ink. So the reason why I slanted it because it would have it would have been just a little bit too long for this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp this up here. Isn't that beautiful? Well, let me show you. And that's so perfecto. Okay, so now that we got that on there, I have this trim here, which is also from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. I figure I'd kind of like dress it up a bit. So let me grab my scissors and just kind of cut this a little, like so. And what it is, is just like a sticker, a big sticker trimming. I love this stuff. Let's see. And I'm just going to line it up with this. It may not be like perfectly even, but hey, it will work, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off the sides now. Let me grab my scissors. So you just wanna just trim off the excess like so. This might be an extra long video, I'm sorry. I just kinda of wanna do this card from start to finish from you, for you. <laughs> Not from you, okay. All right, okay, so then I'm gonna grab my gift card here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it like so. Isn't that perfect? Isn't that cute? Something different. I thought this would be cute to actually hold the gift card. Now, I just wanted to show you really quick. Where did that stamp set go? What I did, you see how this, I stamped it on a piece of white paper. You see how it has like the little stuff coming, the steam. I cut off the steam. So this is it right here. Okay. Then I stamped it again onto some pattern paper, but I'm only going to cut out the bottom portion of this, okay? So this way we could just um, glue it on right onto the actual cup. Okay, where's my zip dry? Okay, that's going to be like so. And then, let me scooch this over. There we go. Okay, and then here goes the little lines that I 
that I stamped. Now you could just stamp that directly on here, but I want this to be a little sleeve. So I'm just going to go ahead and just follow. And when you cut, you will notice it is at a little diagonal there. So I'm going to cut this out because I want to use this on my cup as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out really quick. Okay, so here it goes right here. And that's going to go like so. So let me go ahead and just throw some glue on here. Now I don't, I'm not popping any of this up since this is going to be on the inside of the card. I don't want, you know, to be... I don't want it to be so, you know, bulgy on the inside. So thick. So that's why I'm gluing everything down here. So now what I'm going to do, remember that little tiny sentiment that says caution very hot? I am going to stamp that on the little sleeve. So what I'm going to do, let me scoot this over for a minute. All right. And we're going to go ahead and stamp on very hot first. I'm just going to go right here. Right there, very hot. Oops, let me find the little caution stamp. It's so small. I actually, it's actually all one stamp that goes straight across. See, I, I stamped it too much to the left, but that's okay. Um, but anyways, it is all one stamp that goes across, but I cut, cut it. And it's okay. Remember, you can cut your stamps. They belong to you. You can do whatever you want. And that cute caution, very hot. Okay, so now that we got that down, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some glue behind here. I'm actually going to put some hot glue on here. I'm not. Sure, I'm pretty sure the zip dry glue would hold it up, but just in case it doesn't, I'm going to throw this on. I'm just going to throw this off to the side like so. Isn't that cute? I love it. So this way when they open up their card, I just wanted to put that there so the glue won't stick on the paper. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, cool. So this way when they open up their card, they could be like, oh wow, look at the insides even decorated. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now that that part's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to, I'm not going to run to my sewing machine real quick. I'm just going to go, I'm going to sew around here really okay, quick. Okay, okay. I went ahead and I did that. Now, this is what I've been doing because sometimes the little um, thread unravels in the corner. I've just been getting some little bit of just a hint. Well, when it comes out, there it goes. A hint of glossy accents to kind of seal it down so it won't unravel, if that makes sense. That works for me. I tried using that one stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it's made specifically for this. Oh my God, that stuff was horrible. I just didn't like the smell or anything of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I have my little stitched postage frame right here. I always cut out two because it's so thin um, that I like to give it some kind of depth. And I actually learned that from my one of my awesome design team members, Miss um, Courtney. I saw her do it for the first time during that release. I was like, oh my god, what an awesome idea. And it just looks so much better. So if you're thinking there's, it looks kind of weird with it by itself, Go ahead and cut two out just to kind of give it some kind of dimension. It looks really nice. Okay, so this is going to go like so right there. Okay, I'm going to do that for, with that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, um, the stuff here, my red hemp twine from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. And this is just going to get wrapped around here a couple of times. Let me make sure... Go ahead and just tie a simple bow right here. I want to do it before I put the second frame on top. There we go. And I'll go ahead and I'll just kind of play with that. I'll fix that bow a little bit later. But I just wanted to get that on there. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Um, should I do that first? Yeah, let me go ahead and do this first. What I did was I used my black pop dots and I just kind of cut them out really thinly instead of the white because I did one card already with the white ones and I didn't like the way it looked. So I figured I'd do the rest with the black. So I'm going to kind of get all this Got off all the really little quick. stickies in the back off. So I'm going to go ahead and just carefully lift that 
and this is going to go right here like so. Okay, you see how it gives it a little bit of depth? You see like that? It's going to look so much prettier. Way better. I love it. Okay, so now that that part's done, we are going to work on our little coffee cup. Let me grab that really fast. So I usually trim all the little threads off at, at the last minute. Um, okay, so here goes the coffee cup that I cut with um, using the little coffee die. And that coffee die actually comes, this is it right here. Here goes the bottom portion of the cup and then here goes a little stitching around. This is the sleeve, okay? So anyways, there's a stamp in this that coordinates with that die set. Actually, it's in the set. This is the little cup stamp right here. It comes with the die. And then we're just going to go ahead and just... I'm going to do it this way better so I can see it better. Okay. Isn't that cute? So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the little sleeve. You see how pretty it looks with the stitching on it? And I went ahead and did some white embossing. If you need to see how I embossed, you could watch yesterday's video. Yesterday's video, I went ahead and I embossed for you on camera. And this is just going to go like so right here. Oopsie. The extra pieces of paper there. You see how it, this, the little sleeve uh, goes perfectly on in the stamp. Like don't try and put it, same for example, if you use the die, make sure you use the stamp because that's where this coordinates right in there. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just pop dot this up really quickly. All right, I went ahead, I put two on. Okay, because I doubled it since this is already popped up. I wanted it to be just a tad bit higher. So this is going to go. Let me see. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just trim everything off now. See, since I have my fan on in here, everything, all of this dried. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like you have a shiny little corner. But it's quite all right because at least the little thread will unravel on you. So anyways, these are my cards for all three of the teachers, which will be getting these awesome little Pete's gift card. And then in the morning, I'll have Anthony go ahead and sign his name. So when they take out the card, you can put from Anthony right there. And there goes all three of them. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my teacher presence today. Now really quickly, remember I had did the, um, yesterday I did the treat ones and I told you I sent I'm also going to give them a, a set of four note cards I just want to show you really quick actually one of the teachers sent it right back to me with a sweet little note she said she PS I just had to use one but super simple because remember with the 12 by 12 piece of cardstock you can make eight uh, four by four cards so you could get two sets I'm sorry, not four by four, three by three cards. So you could get two sets of four out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. And all I did was I just used my little Stitch Daisy die. And then from the Happy Mail stamp set, just uh, stamp just a note. How cute are these? I gave them those with some of the envelopes that I had made using my three by three um, envelope die. Okay, that's it, everybody. Don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com. Dot com to see what the rest of my design team has done for you today. Have a fabulous, fabulous day, and don't forget to join us tomorrow for our super fun My Birthday Bash blog hop, um, as well as our sale, which starts at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so don't forget to visit my blog. At the top of the banner, um, you'll see the code that you're going to use for checkout, so don't forget it's not automatic. You have to use the code at checkout. And then there's a, a minimum of a $20 purchase to qualify to get the free stamp. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye-bye.